Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now in this video we are going to look at another arrays medium level question but although it is in a medium level uh, category but this is very easy question so let's jump into the question and then we'll understand how to solve it. Okay, so we are given two things right now an array and a pivot. Now what is this? Um, let me explain you with an example. So I will be taking the second example because the first example is really long. So the second example is minus 3, 4, 3, 2. So let, let me write it down here. Minus 3, 4, 3 and 2 and pivot is 2. So what they want us to do is that we want they want us to create a new array. Okay, let's say new array. Okay, in that all the elements that are smaller than pivot should be should come to the left of that. And all the elements which are greater than pivot should come to the right of that. That is, if we see um, minus 3, okay, that is smaller than 2. So 4 is greater than 2, okay. So I will write it here. 2 is 2, uh, sorry, 3 is greater than 2. So it will be here and here it will be 2. So if you can see here, all the elements that are smaller than 2 are on the left and greater than 2 are on the right. But um, you might say that, okay, we can solve this by directly uh, sorting this array, okay. That is also we can do. If we sort it, then or whatever the smaller elements that are small, uh, whatever the elements that are smaller than pivot, those will be on the left of it, and greater will be on the right of it. But that not that's not it. Okay. See, if you sort, if you simply sort the array, let me do it for you. Your array will look like this. Okay. But we want to maintain the order of the original array. If you will see, we have minus three then we have 4, then we have 3 and only the pivot element is moved, okay. So that's one thing that we need to take care of. So um, how are we going to do that? So it's really simple. Uh, let me just remove this here and then we'll start with the solution, okay. So what we'll do is we will go through this array three times, okay. The first time, whatever the value that we get that are smaller than the pivot, we will assign it to our new array okay so in this case it will be minus 3 after this in the second array uh, let me write it here the conditions uh, the first condition is smaller than pivot okay the second condition is it should be equal to pivot and the third condition is it should be greater than pivot okay so in that way the order is maintained so right now we already have 3 minus 3 here so let's say what are, what are the elements that are equals to pivot so it is 2 okay so we have written that and now we'll see minus 3 2 we already have and we'll go through like whatever the elements that are greater than pivot so here 4 and 3 okay so it is really really that simple it, it has nothing to do with there is no complexity over here okay if you have understood this then you can start writing your code it is really simple we just have to go through the loop uh, go through the array three times and uh, apply these conditions okay and, and if you have not yet understood i will continue to code and you will be able to understand it better so let's jump into the code so the first thing that we need here is our result array so let me create that And the size is going to be same as uh, our given array. Now another thing that we need to take care is that we are going through the original array three times but the index that we are using in our result array that is not moving anywhere okay that is not changing with the loop okay that is going to remain as it is so we'll uh, declare it outside our uh, for loop. So let me create this as index okay and uh, let's go through the loops so our first loop uh, that is smaller than pivot so let me create that okay we'll check if i is less than given pivot okay in that case what we'll do is we will add it to our result at position index that is going to be i okay and we also need to increment our index so uh, we will do it okay We'll do it here only okay so our first loop is done second loop is equals to pivot so for that what we'll do is okay if i is equals to pivot in that case 
index is going to be i okay and the last condition is that it should be greater than pivot for that if i is greater than pivot in that case result index increment equals to i okay and our result array is ready so let me just return this array and let me submit this so as you can see it's really that simple now the time complexity over here is big o of n where n is the size of our given array nums okay so yeah i that's it for this video i hope you liked this and understood this and it was really pretty easy and uh, you can expect these kind of questions in medium level difficulty where it says medium but it is not exactly a medium level it can be solved using uh, whatever you have learned in easy level but just slightly changing the logic okay so yeah do let me know if you have any other problems for me to solve from any other platform i will see you in the next one till then keep coding